Hello, in this video I'll show you how to change the crankshaft sensor and the camshaft sensor on a Nissan four cylinder engine. Uh, first step, I'm going to remove the um, the air housing and the air filter housing and the uh, hose. Uh, I'm going to be replacing this sensor here. Uh, just remove the clip. This car has two. There's one on top and one on the bottom. I couldn't record the one on the bottom because it's um, it's a hard angle to shoot. Um, but it's right next, you follow the cable and you'll see it, it's right next to the bell housing. Um, so I remove this uh, harness and then you take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the bolt and the sensor will slide right out. Here, uh, as you can see, the sensor has changed a little bit, but um, using the original that Nissan offers today, the old one is what was offered a long time ago when this car was newer. Um, so I'm going to take some oil just to lubricate the little O-ring. I'm just taking uh, some oil there. Um, doesn't matter that it's uh, used oil. I'm just it's just so the O ring can pop and make a nice seal. So now I'm going to insert uh, the sensor into the engine, and I'm gonna like wiggle it and spin it a little bit just to make sure that uh, the O ring is seated properly. Uh, you don't want you don't want this to start leaking. Uh, once you get it lined up, just insert the bolt. Tighten it up, there as you can see, I tighten it up. Um, and then just clip the harness back on, make sure it clicks. And this should solve your issue of a no start uh, when, when the engine is hot. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.